It is time for a new game on the channel, Across the Obelisk is a game that has received uh, the second most votes on my Discord's game voting. Uh, so we are going to be giving it a go and seeing what it is all about. Uh, I've read some Steam reviews. Uh, we do not currently have the DLC enabled, which ha has been slightly maligned, but, uh, but we're gonna give it a go, see what it's all about. It seems to have pretty heavy roguelite influences, so we'll probably be doing some meta progression, but Without further ado, let's do some tutorial and learn how this game works. Okay, so we need a character with rank 3 for each of these for the challenges, but we just like adventure mode, I think. Let's uh, create a new game. Into the Obelisk. Ooh. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle. That hole in the wall is a little hilarious. Found no sign of her. <laughs> or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom. But none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest. Near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. Like the Pope Pig. This is the story of one of those groups. Hmm. Cool. I dig it. All right, so it looks like we start out with Reginald. Uh, oh, and Magnus. Uh, do not peg Magnus. He has a reputation. All right, so we have combat, article shops, events, rest nodes, card nodes, character, crafting nodes, quest ends, map transitions, and region bosses. But so far we can just move here, so I think it's probably gonna teach us some things. We also have some shards and some money. Okay, so energy management and cards. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. When you end a turn, energy that hasn't been used will be saved for the next turn of this hero. Okay, so there's like an energy conservation type of thing. This box shows the available targets. If there are multiple targets for a card, you'll have to select which one will be affected. We're familiar with this, Slay the Spire style. Hey, Artie! Welcome. If there's only one, uh, if there's only one, releasing the card will automatically select it. Got it. So you can drag up for like a quick action. Okay, so let's see. So we have intercept. So, okay, so are we, it looks like we're going and then this guy is going. We don't know what the other guys are doing. Wait, who is currently acting here? Okay, so Magnus is currently acting here. So we could defend. We could also rend. We have we have a ton of actions here, it seems. All right, well, let's, let's start out and let's do that. We'll hit this guy for a little bit. And then it seems like we could intercept twice. Oh, maybe we do, maybe we do this, and just in case our back guy gets hit, we do that. Do we want to keep going here? Maybe we keep going. Okay. We'll just, we'll play it all. What's the worst that can happen? The cards that a monster are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movements in anticipation. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so we take a big hit there. Speed and character order. All characters have a speed value, which can be modified by cards, items, and traits. That value establishes who moves first. In case of a tie, the closest hero to the center will have priority. Interesting. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. So, oh, we have a lot of heals here. All right. So what does bleed do? Lose one HP at the start of turn. Okay. 
So we can, we could zap this guy to get him going. We can heal ourselves, that is very expensive. And then we could play Sight on this guy, but what's the point? Because we're gonna be, well, I guess, well, he's not going for a while. We are gonna get Magnus's next turn. Sure, it's free, let's do it. So now we know that he's doing a 16 damage chop to the front hero, which we have fully blocked. Nice. And I guess the skull means that he this guy is roasted and toasted. So maybe we should have uh maybe we should have went with the other one. So we probably do that. We only have front monster stuff, so I don't think it's even worth doing that. I'm still going to do it this way, I think. Oh, maybe he always shoots the back target. See, there was actually... I should have been paying attention. There was a, there was a symbol there that I didn't go ahead and look at. Okay, so we know he's doing a gunshot, which is, okay, is always the back hero. I think we're just killing him, though. So let's, uh, let's just do that. Okay, we get a little bit of a heal at the end of fights, it looks like. So we have a common event. Event rolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of an action. Each character will use the card... Each character will use the cards from their own deck. Ah, okay, so we have to roll a three or lower on Magnus to succeed at this one. And can I look at your deck really quickly? He has nothing that costs four. So I think this means that this is a guarantee. So, Serenthia's Tavern. You arrive at a nearby tavern, and there you meet Andrin, Reginald's brother. After talking to him for a while, he decides to join your party. In a corner of the tavern, you see a woman who seems to be a mage. It would be nice to have someone like her in the party. Do you want to try to recruit her? So yes, and we know that this is a success because, well, oh, success. Oh, it tells you the success probability. That's really nice. Okay, so I was right about the way that it worked, but they also do show you it. After speaking with her, she introduces herself as Evelyn and tells you that she is looking for the princess uh, Salenthia of Salenthia. So she decides to join you. Okay, so we just got two new people. We got Andrin and we got Evelyn. Which means that now we have a healer, a mage of some sort. Yeah, with lots of like charges that do lots of different things. Oh my word. And a rogue that seems to just do a lot of potential damage. Okay, I dig it. Oh, do we have, oh, and we have a, we have a costo meter. So we can see that she has a fair number of zeros. Okay. Cool. Very cool. So far, I'm, so far I'm digging it. I like, I like what they're laying down. Grow, grow a goatee for some Reginald cosplay. I like the idea, Stu. Uh, my, my YouTube channel page, uh, Profile picture has a picture of me with with quite the goatee. <laughs> uh, town actions: you can craft new cards for your deck, upgrade any cards that you have, and buy equipment for your heroes. You will also be able to claim rewards from previous games. Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's see. So we have we have the altar. The altar. Each card is, has different upgrades that are more powerful than the basic version. You can make an offer of shards in order to upgrade a card. Also, it is possible to transmute a card between its upgraded versions. Uh, the higher the rarity of a card, the higher the cost. So like if I just went with like intercept, okay, so we can make it grant more but cost more, or we can make it cheaper and better. Our defense now gain reinforce slashing blunt and piercing resistance plus 30 percent remove one charge okay and these are relatively cheap and we have 300. now this one says that it is locked i don't know what that means but like for instance hunter's mark we could make free which is always a nice thing 
Really, Artie? Wow. Were you disappointed when you got here and I didn't have it? <laughs> Should I? My my girlfriend would be really unhappy that you're that you're lobbying for it. So let's see. This is. Oh, this is deal two damage to a monster and apply sight. That's kind of snazzy, but this also has innate and vanish. Oh, interesting. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're you're gonna get me in trouble. Let's see. So uh, so if I escape from here, so we have we have the upgrades there. We have the armory where we can buy, this looks like gear. So each of our heroes appears to have a weapon, chess piece, ring, potion, and I'm going to guess this is a talisman. Interesting. Okay, cool. So so there, we have some more options here. We could get some resistance. We could get some max HP. We could get some plus one to fire damage, etc. Like, like for instance, we could get Evelyn the plus one to fire damage. Uh, we don't know what poison darts do. We only have three hundred gold, so we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. But so that this shop was armory. Got it. The Zingarian cart. Pay gold to the beautiful Zingara to get div a, a divination round. If you have enough money. Uh, the Zingara will grant you a divination card round. In a multiplayer game, everyone will benefit from this divination round. The higher the cost of the divination round, the higher the chance to obtain better cards. So I assume this is add a card to your deck, and it's like you pick one of three. No, no, this is this is all new to me. Church, you can remove cards from your deck as long as you fulfill the minimum number of cards requirement. Uh, minimum number of cards in the deck is 15 excluding so right now we can't because we haven't added any cards so we can't remove any cards i think is is my reading of that and then magic ford craft cards for your deck uh this is your first buff buffs and curses are modified uh modifiers to your skill that will get you benefits or drawbacks each one uh has charges get more info about each one rolling the mouse over so, so these are these are cards that we can add i believe it's like for instance we could get an aimed shot which seems like a good one we could get ourselves a rupture evac thank you for the uh thank you for the follow and welcome to stream this is uh this is my first time playing this game so uh so if you are a an old hand uh feel free to offer up uh the card up are these the card upgrades or are the other ones the card upgrades like uh when you say card upgrades you're referring to what we saw at the altar right yeah evac i mean i have a discord you're welcome to go over there if you're interested but i uh I keep the stream pretty minimalist at the moment. Uh, I, I am planning to do some things. So let's see. So like we could, we could make Holy Smite do insane damage, and then it would apply Sanctify, and we would also gain a Bless. That seems very expensive, but I I'm tempted to think that something like Holy Smite as an upgrade might be really good. But this is this character is our like primary damage dealer. I feel like I need to see which cards perform well before I want to start spending my currency. That might be a mistake. We could There's something to be said for getting inter intercepts upgraded, but I don't know. Let's, let's go to the armory. So we could get we know we have fire abilities. We know we have we have dart pouch. This is going to water down our deck a bit. Silver Chalice seems quite good, right? More healing doesn't seem like it could go bad. Every two turns, this gives you one more energy. We can't afford this. So we could pick up we could pick up the leather armor for Magnus and the Silver Chalice for Reginald. Oh, this is first turn shuffle two poisons into our deck. Every two turns, reduce the cost of the high of the highest cost song spell. That's not going to do us any good. The the player's progression paths. Uh-oh. Okay, so I haven't seen that here. Is that part of 
Wait, what are town upgrades? Okay, we have to get crates for that. Yeah, yeah, Artie, for sure. So maybe it's over here. Oh, character sheet, level and traits. Oh, okay. So... There's, there's some stuff here. There is some stuff here. Okay, so we can get more max HP. What are we spending here? You can modify your perks before the game begins in the first town with some restrictions. Okay, so we I guess we'll get points as we level up. At level 5, we're either going to get a follow-up or wolf guard. Hmm. And then at some point, we're going to get a full set of gear for them. So Evac, I... I, my my link is in the Discord below. Join it. We can uh, we can chat later or something like that. But uh, you know, uh, right now focused on the game. All right. So I think I think this is the one that I'm supposed to look at. Elemental proficiency, enchant weapons. What's your? Does your deck? It has a lot of fire in it. Kind of feel like I should pick two of these. I can't imagine healing is going to be bad. I think the torch... The torch is just expensive. That would be all our money. I'm going to go for these two, I think. Wait, why did that... That's not where I wanted that to go. Where did my... I wanted that to go here. Do I need to buy it for the specific character? Uh-oh. It looks like I do. It looks like I can't move things around. Is there no inventory? So I think if, if that's the case, I messed up. Because I thought this was something that I could move. I meant for that to go to Magnus. But now I understand the way that this works. You live and you learn. Uh, and then for upgrades. So we can get rid of the Suffer and we can make it... This makes it vanish. This makes it reusable. But we only gain one energy. Oh, that is expensive to upgrade. All right, noted. This applies three damage and one burn. I feel like I should pick five basic, one basic card from each of these to make better is my plan. Ooh, what is that? Shield. Gain one block per charge at the start of round, then remove all charges can't be purged. Okay, so... This makes it vanish and cheaper. This makes it a bigger heal. I like having I like having draw on one of these. Hey, Robbie. It's been a minute. It's good to see you. Let's uh let's go for a more potent fire blast. I like the idea of aim shot oh, being less damage, do I? Ooh, I like Rupture being able to target the back. That would be the rest of our points, but I think that's good. Let's get one of our Ruptures to be more flexible. All right, I think we have spent most of what we have to spend. We we did mess up the, the armor because I thought we were buying it to like go into an inventory and then could move things around. But uh, but yeah, let's uh, let us press forward and, and see what happens next. Okay, so we have event, event, event here. We have an altar of rubble. We have a crumbling tower, a water mill. So we're going to get a quest no matter what here. It looks like these quests are like heroes that we've seen. I really like the idea, the ninja frogs look. This is a rare event up here. So let's go across this top path. That sounds good to me. Okay, so we have we have some aim shots here, which are going to deal 14. We have three characters that are going first, so we can probably delete one of these baddies. Double aim shot is, is expensive for sure, but... And we're probably better off... They're all the same, so we should attack the front one, I think.
my my hope is that let's see enrage draw one to gain two energy sure that's a one-time use captain's howl i don't know what these icons do okay here we go slow minus two speed per charge prevent one fast per charge and vulnerable so this applies to all monsters so we should definitely do this this seems like our kind of like signature strong ability and then this is gonna hit for nine i thought it was gonna i thought vulnerable was gonna make okay vulnerable five plus eight all right we finish that guy off and then we'll do that So, okay, so this has spark, which removes lightning resistance. It's gain one energy per charge at the start of turn, then remove all charges. So this basically refunds itself next turn. So you should probably use all of these. Okay, so, let's see. So this is, this is gonna be our first chance to see what these guys do. Front hero, deal nine. Okay, so that means that if we do this, we probably don't take any damage. So let's see, Divine Grace, Dispel one, heal X. We don't need to do that right now, so let's zap you. And then we're hoping that this guy had the same ability as the other guy. Yep. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Expert track. Grant one. Inspire. Draw one extra card per charge start of turn. Then remove all charges can't be purged. So we want to do this because that'll be good for everyone. Oh, we can only do it on one person. Let's do it on you. You can discard up to five cards. I don't think we need transmission. X where X equals your hand. Let's do that. I don't we don't need to suffer, I don't think. We're gonna have enough. We're gonna have enough damage, I presume. Ooh, wow, that's that's defense for everyone. That's very interesting. We could have used those, but I don't think we needed to. So we have, over here we have, wow, we have a ton. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, that just did fire damage. I expected that to do more, I think. So chill is minus speed, lightning damage. Okay, and then this would have given us more. Wow, she's kind of popping off, all right. Locked cards. During your adventure, you will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you will only be able to craft unlocked cards. Got it. Okay, so we can add any of these. It's expensive. <laughs> Still. Did, did I make a mistake there? So let's see. We got War Paint, which is gain too powerful. Damage done by five, or we have Headbunt. Deal X, X equals your hand times three, discard one. Headbutt seems pretty strong to use at the end of the round. I think I'll grab that. We could also choose shards for sure, because we don't want to fatten up our deck too much. Poison dart. Poison dart seems pretty handy. Ooh, unstable power. Okay, suffer one lightning damage. So we zap ourselves, but we gain two powerful, which is plus 10% damage, and it's innate. And then down here, courage. Holy shadow and mind resistance plus 30. That'll probably come in handy in the future. Shield of warding is a lot. But let's, uh, let's keep that deck thin so that we can kind of learn a thing or two. And then I'm committed to come up here to the water mill. So we will do the Scorched Field common event. Okay, so 
Uh, crops on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burned field and a burning house. In front of the house, there is a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Even half burned, the houses may contain something of value, but you'll have to deal with the fire imp and the cornies first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. All right, so we have an 82% chance here, 25 or 86. But this is sneak away, hide in the cornfields and attack him by surprise. I think this is probably the best. Oh, and then... Uh, attack the imp head on. Well, this one seems like it just gives us a combat advantage. So let's go with this. We do want to fight though, I think. That's a fail. All right. Uh, the imp notices some strange noises in the cornfield and throws a fireball. The field catches on fire, but you uh, can get out without getting burned. The imp sees you and starts a fight. Okay. Well, say la vie. Oh, right off the cuff, just going hard in the paint. So killing the imp is probably the smart play here. Hunter's Mark might have been smart. Okay. So let's see, Captain's Howl seems like a very good start here. Might as well enrage. And then you have, you have six points right now. So let's, oh, you do not. Okay. No, wait. So is this showing what we'll get next turn? That's the green. I guess that's the green. Okay. Did I say a French word? Maybe. Oh, we're getting, we're getting beat up on our tank, but that's their job, right? So you will take a damage to get strong. Now, what is what do these do? Say la vie. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's see. Energize. Gain one energy per charge. So we're gaining two energy. And inspire. Draw one extra card per charge. So let's see. Let's If we do that to ourselves, what happens? Nothing. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So this guy's taking 10. So we're not quite there yet. Thank you. I, I try. I try. So let's see. Uh, this gains one bless. Damage done and healing received. So we could holy smite flash. That would be like 21 damage. Plus the two. We might get it done. Excellent. Then we can hit you with that. And this corny is going to hang around for a second. So we'll do that. Let's start with that. We should, we should always draw first. And let's see. We don't want to... That's our bad rupture. I want to get this guy healed up uh, before the end of the fight. I don't know if we get a full heal at the end of the fight or not. That is a that is a mystery. It looks like 30 block might be the cap. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is what is that second one? Insulate. Okay, that's resistance. Okay. I don't know if if this delaying is actually worth the uh, the price of admission. Like we definitely could have gotten the kill there, but I was thinking it might make sense to heal, but we drew no no heals. So let's just, uh, I guess we just get out of here. Okay, so we don't heal fully. The round meter affects your reward. Oh, good to know, good to know. Bladestorm seems good, but I think we're building this guy tanky. I don't, I don't want to 
do that. Com I don't want to go completely... Like, I don't want to thicken up our deck like a crazy amount. Like, down here... Mind Blast. I'll grab... I'll grab Mind Blast, because we, we didn't pick up a card on them before. Curse of Agony looks really good. All these blue cards. I think blue cards are, like, the rarer cards. So this applies 8 Bleed, 4 Poison, and 1 Dark, which reduces Shadow Resistance. And on 25 charge, it explodes. I'll take Curse of Agony, but then I think I'm going to do the 40 there, too. Monsters killed plus 3, cards unlocked plus 7. Okay. Now we have a 68%. Well, we missed our 80%, right? It's easy to thin your deck out. Okay, that's really good to know. Uh, the Burning House. You, you're you at the entrance of the Burning House. Clearly, this was a poor man's house, and you can see that the contents inside are already destroyed or burned. Before you leave, a chest catches your eye, although the chest is still on fire. The fire is spreading rapidly, and there will be nothing left in a few moments. Hmm. I think we can afford to get a little bit burned. So we'll roll the dice here. Oh, so we needed to go higher than that. Okay. We got 80 coins and 56 star majigs. And there were three hid hidden items. Uh, you come out safely with the chest, although it's a bit burned. You proceed to open the chest. We get some currency. Oh, item rewards. Okay, so this, does this, what does this mean? Okay, so hold on. You can choose one of the following items or some gold. So I could put leather armor on you. So, okay, so I select the person, and then I select the thing. So this is plus one damage from Curse. Uh, cast card, Pebble Throw. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Confusing. But this doesn't appear to do anything. Oh, it's a burned item. Got it. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I think we go here, and I think we go with the leather armor, which is what I wanted to do originally. Oh, everyone gets an item. Interesting. I guess we'll give you that. We'll give you this, and then we'll give you the agate amulet. Ah, okay. Now I understand how that event works. Good stuff. Uh, let's let's go up here to the mountain ridge. There's also a suspicious hatch, which is a ma map transition. But I, I want to go up here to the west gate, Fang Gate. So let's let's go up here. Oh no. It is it is farmer farmer what's his face? I'm presuming did, can I see what my other people have in their hand currently? I guess not. Let's start by drawing. Apply three mark. Damage taken plus one per charge. Prevents one stealth per charge. Remove one charge when this happens. Uh, we have four energy. So we could do... I think we're better off with a rupture into an aim shot here on the farmer. I am, I am not completely convinced, but barricade is great for getting rid of some chip damage. I, I, I believe these are the cornies. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think we need more than 23 block here. Famous last words. We might need more than 23 block. I am filled with regret. Let's see. We have, we have four, so I think I'm going to double frostbolt this guy. I should use the mana gem, though. There's no reason not to. And then this is granting shield. I guess I'll I guess I'll do that to insulate him. Oh, they all went there. That was rough and tumble. So this grants regeneration and wet, which increases lightning damage. Ooh, that's interesting. The farmer is still going, which I'm a little nervous about. I don't think I have the ability to get the kill here. 
He's only taking two bleed and the, the cold isn't doing anything. I still think we, we stack that there. Oh, he's insane. Oh, that's just, okay. Insane is not anything special. It doesn't look like. Oh, so it makes them wet. Understood. I just want to see what this is. Watering. Apply wet, heal eight. Okay. So he's he's a healer. That's good to know. Get get pebbled. Now that, now that he's gone, things get easier. Should have drawn first, obviously. Drawing first is always the correct play. Speaking, speaking of. Yeah, so they're, they're like, they're like uh, damage type specific uh, debuffs is, is my, my understanding. So we still have four energy here. So I think we just, I think we're better off doing two fast strikes after we do that. We almost got the kill here. Popcorn Blast was slightly annoying there just cause it hit all the people that we hadn't. Uh, we're excited about Curse of Agony. Equals your hand, half your hand. So I think we start with this. Then we Curse of Agony you. That seemed good. And then I, I think we're done here. I mean, we could. Yeah, I think we're just, I think we're just done here. Okay, nice. So now we just need to get some healing in. Hero, dispel one heal hand size. No, I think we just do two heals. Oh, we can't because we only have three. Okay, so our action economy is a little, a little funked over there. Okay, this guy, this guy is roasted. But ending the fight faster, we have, we have discussed is good. All right, we're unlocking some cards. Ooh, rapid fire looks exciting. Deal eight twice for three. I could see with like stacking that could be very good. Ooh, shad oh, Shadow Bolt. Hello. Flash is deal seven, draw one. Now, the fact, oh wait, the blue and yellow doesn't mean, isn't rareness, it's that they're already upgraded. Now I understand, because there's a yellow path and a blue path. Purge adds fury. Wait, yeah. No, it purges fury, it dispels insanity and slow, and it grants card draw. I think I'm still gonna grab that. Rapid fire seems really expensive. I'm sure with like uh, take aim and things, it's pretty good. So maybe we'll grab it. And then I really like shield bash here. Gain 11, do 11 damage. Okay, well, let's, let's go here. Whisper in the shadows. You enter nearby water mill. It seems empty at first glance, but then you hear a whisper directed at you. Sss. You aren't my prey. Sss. You are scaring them. Leave, please. But first, I have an offer for you. Sss. If you happen to find a very strong venom and give it to me, sss. I will join your group after finishing this job. You can't see who it is, but the offer seems interesting. So we have, uh, you will search for it if you get a chance. You ask for a clue where to start. Uh, that accent is definitely that of a lizard man. I've helped your tribe before or decline. Hmm. Rareness is the gem in the top middle of the card. Excellent intel, Stu. So let me let me double check here. So, okay, yeah. So like these are green, which are common. This is epic. The, this shield bash that I took was not good. Or it was not rare, at least. Rapid fire is a solid one. 
Mana Gem is high level. Shadow Bolt is not, interestingly. And neither is Unstable Power. Okay, and then down here, Mind Blast not. Okay. So, I don't, because this doesn't have an Acceptor Decline, I'm, I'm going to try it out because it's a character-specific one. Voice. Oh, I can't believe it. It's you, Reginald. Uh, I'm Thulls, the Lizard Man. I really appreciate what you did for me in the past. Right now I'm on a job. Could you bring me that venom, please? You will surely find it in the Spider Cave in Aquaran Fall Marsh. When I finish the job, I'll come back uh, to you to thank you properly. For now, please accept this item as a gift. Okay, so that was a good... That was a good decision. So choose one of the following items or this gold amount. So each person, like, so I can do, I can give you the crossbow, which seems good. Small pouch, shuffle a small weapon into your deck, cost zero and vanish. We also have the dart pouch, which I don't think we're interested in. We might as well give you some leather armor. Thinking you get the resistance, and then you already have the chalice. So you could get a dart pouch or a small pouch. I think you've had energy problems, so I'm going to go dart pouch. Uh-oh, what did I just get rid of? 